Oh, DK Money's mouthpiece fell out. Oh, he running. Yee yee, guys, welcome back. As you guys know, your boy took the dub in his boxing match. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to the fight, breaking down what was going through my mind during this fight. And honestly, I don't even remember everything that was happening in the ring because it was just so crazy in there. So I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna react to my fight. But before I get into that, Team NCK merch is now available. Link in the top of the description. Here's some crispy pictures of it. Oh my goodness, it's looking clean. It's got Team NCK on the back. And right here, some of the hottest merch in the game. And you know, if you wanna represent the 1-0 no undefeated champ, Champion, you know where to get it, ivpmerch.com. Before I got to the ring, for you guys that watched the fight and were wondering like, yo, what song did you walk out to? What ended up happening was DK Money walked out to my song and I walked out to DK Money song, but literally while I was walking out, I could not hear anything. I didn't hear anything. It was just tunnel vision. I wasn't trying to look at the fans or something. I got all nervous and then they started announcing your boy in the hometown, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I get into the actual reaction part, I got a lot of you guys hitting me in the DMs, in the comments. Yo, Nick, how are you moving around so nimbly in there? So light on your feet. Let me tell you why. It's because of today's video sponsor, Manscaped, baby. Shout out to Manscaped for keeping your boy cleaned up downstairs, if you know what I'm saying, keeping the bush nice and trimmed. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bro, I know what you're saying. The boys over at Manscaped hooked your boy up with a bunch of different goodies for the goodies, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I know what you're you know saying. What I'm I saying? Know. We got yeah, yeah, the yeah. all-in-one performance package kit right here. Let's, let's take a look what we got inside, Ooh. my friend. Ooh. First off, we got probably the most important piece right here. This is the lawnmower 3.0. It's for trimming the lawn. Not this lawn. That one. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't zoom in down there. The Lawnmower 3.0 is a waterproof trimmer which features an LED light on the tip and also has skin safe technology to reduce the amount of nicks and cuts down there because uh, let's just say you don't want any nicks or cuts down there. Trust me, from experience, you don't want any. Next up in the pack, we got a ball deodorant called the Crop Preserver and a ball toner. Let me tell you guys, these things are game changers. Just trust me when you use them. You'll wonder why you never used them before. And they also hooked your boy up with this, the Weed Whacker. This is a nose and ear trimmer. And they didn't forget about your toes and nails either. They got the Shears 2.0 Luxury Nail Kit. But that is not it. If you guys order right now, they're including two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxers. If you go right now and go to the link in the description, go to manscaped.com to get 20% off your order, plus free international shipping, plus those two free gifts if you use code IBP20 at checkout, click the link in the top description. Your balls will thank you. And you know, you'll be looking like me in the ring, you know, floating around smooth Ooh. as butter, baby. Fight out of safety, Harmon! 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 Okay. Okay. Like, yo, your boy, I raised my arms up. I had to hit him with a little, a little hop. I was getting loose in there. I was feeling pretty good. I thought I was gonna be so nervous getting into that ring in front of all those people. But when it actually came down to it, when I walked into the ring, I felt pretty good. I didn't feel too nervous. Obviously, there's like a little bit of nerves because like it's like the biggest moment of my life, it feels like. But I wasn't even feeling that nervous. I was just feeling pretty good. I got my coach right next to me. He's telling me, yo, you got this, you got this. So I'm just feeling loose in there. I'm feeling good. I was feeling good. I didn't have to pay for this event and I Right now. We got Fushi commentating. Oh, your boy was feeling good in there, man. Oh man, it's like I'm reliving it right now. Dude, so they announced CK Money, and there was like, there's almost no cheers, and there's a decent amount of booze. There's some booing, yeah. Then they announced Nick, and the whole place. I'm not even kidding. Nick probably had the most fans out of anyone there. It was Bro. crazy. Like I remember once they once they announced my name after they announced it, I get someone started an NCK channel. Yeah, yeah. So me and Fab started it down low. Ireland King Dude. I you this fight Here we go. Tomorrow. 
Ooh. All right, as you can see, we're only like 15 seconds in. I'm, I'm hopping, I'm doing a lot of hopping. I don't really know where that came from because bro, once you're in there, man, it's like everything changes. Like, yeah, been training for like only a month, but still, it's like once you're in there, bro, it's just survival once you're in there. Ooh, little jab, little jab. Oh, he got, he got out of the way on that one. Ooh. Oh, I think I think I clipped him right there with the left hand just a little bit on the nose right here Bam boom got him right there missed me just a little bit I think I gotta say DK money I didn't think he was gonna be moving around as much as he was but he was moving around a good bit Oh Oh, oh, I ate that one. I ate that one. I just kept on going round one I definitely remember that he definitely hit me with a couple of strong hits especially in round one But what I was thinking as I was getting hit I was like I knew I knew he was given pretty much all he had in those punches And I ate them and I was like shoot that's a, that's all he's got He's not gonna hit me much harder than what he just hit me with Oh 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 Yo, right there, DK, he was just unleashing, but if you slow it down and look at him, he, a lot of his swings were like this, but he still, he, he definitely tagged me a couple times, as you can see. Boy, I got a black eye over here and then a little something over there. Oh, here he goes again. Oh my, yo, right there, that was the end of round one. As you can see, we're literally both just standing there like this, because we are both gas. We've been training for going multiple rounds, but it's like all the nerves, all the adrenaline dump, you're just in there, and after that first round, we were just staring at each other like, yo, we are tired. Going into round number two, this is where the tide started to turn for your boy for the better. DK Money, he used a lot of his gas tank in that first round and I could tell he was gassed. I used a good bit of energy, but I still had enough in me to keep going. This is where your boy started to pick things up. Cause I'll admit, DK Money, he got round one. Round two, baby. Ooh, I don't know if I hit him right there. I can't really tell. Ooh. That's when I could tell he was tired when he started leaning over and trying to hug me out of nowhere. That's when I was like, yo, I got him. I just gotta keep throwing. Oh. Oh, we both got out of the way on that one. Oh! Right there, I think that's when I clipped him big. I think I got another angle of that right here. Right. No. There. But your boy got out of the way of that left hand, and then boom, threw the right hook straight to the dome. Right here. Bam. Oh, here, DK Money. Oh, swinging a miss by me. Oh, <coughs> yo, I definitely pieced him up a couple times at the end of that second round, and you could tell DK Money. He was gassed. If there was a little bit more time in that second round, could have unloaded a couple more. Who knows what could have happened? He even says. Dang, saved by the bell right there. Yeah. Cause that's when I was watching too, dude. That's when I was like, yo, this is it. Cause he has it. I think that demoralized him. At the end of the round, he had to go sit back down and be like, dang, I have nothing in the tank. And Nick just threw a bunch. Round number three, baby. Ooh, DK coming out swinging hot. Like Fusi is saying in the commentary, he said we were going for the head a lot. That is facts. We didn't really throw it at the body. You know, we were just head hunting. Yo, look, anytime I would throw anything, DK Money, like a jab, or just like move a little bit, and DK Money would immediately put his head down to get out of the way, and I read that, and I was like, shoot, gotta throw an uppercut. So I started trying to throw some uppercuts. Right here, I'm about to throw a big one. Right here. Oh, I missed. 
Oh, DK Money's mouthpiece fell out. I don't know if it fell out or if he spit it out or what, but it gave DK Money a much needed break because he was definitely he was definitely gassed. There he goes, he's ducking, ducking and moving. DK Money just trying to stay out of there. There's the uppercut. DK, DK Money just running at this point. He's like, yo, let me just get out of there and not get pieced up too much. I just kept on pushing after him and I was like, yo, come on now. This is, I literally, there's 30 more seconds for the rest of my life. This is my shot right here. So I just had to keep on pressing him. Oh, he running. He was running. There's that 10 second warning. That was it, that was the end of round three. That was literally it, man. I gotta say, those rounds went by super, super fast. Like, I thought it was gonna feel like long when I was in there, but dude, they were just flying by. That first one went, and the second one went, and the third one went, and I was like, yo, that's it? Like it's already over? I literally turned to my coach and I was like, yo. And coach is like, yeah, that's it, man. So at this point, I honestly, I, I didn't really know who won because I know we both landed some good punches on each other. So then here we go. The ref is about to raise one of our hands. Let's go, baby. Dude, the feeling, the feeling, man. The feeling when I heard my name and then they raised my hand and I can just hear the whole place like erupt and they're like chanting, NCK, NCK, bro. But I don't know if there's a feeling like that. I've never felt something that crazy in my life. And to know that all the boys were there, literally DJ Fab, Health Benefits, Evan Cody, RTV, the Hutter himself, one here, Rick, he was there, and a bunch of family, uncles, aunts, and cousins were there. And it was in the hometown, man. It doesn't get much more crazy than that. And a lot of you guys were there too, as well. Even if you weren't there, I know you guys were watching on TV. And man, when he raised my hand, bro, what a time. Had to put the city on my back right there. And man, did it feel good. That was the first time I've watched that back since the fight. Big shout out to my singing coach, because every time after the round, he would come up to me and he would just be like talking to my face. He's like, bro, you got this. And then once he saw DK Money running, bro, he's like, you got him running, bro. You got him running. It. Couldn't have done it without him. Anything you have to say, one hit? I, I have a few things, but that'll be in another video. Also, I'm going to be reacting to it because I haven't seen this yet. I was there in person, but being honest, my experience was crazy. They tried to kick your boy out while Nick was fighting, it was a whole thing. And uh, man, it was, honestly, I gotta say, maybe the craziest night of my life and I wasn't even fighting. I love this man, so proud of him. He's the little bro, but he's bigger than me. He worked so hard for this moment. And man, this pretty much sums it up right here. By majority decision, Nick! Yeah! That was my reaction. I was right there with my boy DJ Fab, right next to the ring when they said NCK. But I just gotta say, bro, love this man, love you guys. The most support of anyone there was Z Nation and uh, just a night for, for the ages, man. That's oh, it. Definitely a time for the ages, a night that I remember forever. We love you guys, and until next time, yee yeah. Team NCK, baby, link in the description.